I'm going to put a Z on there for our pal Zahu. Rock and roll, bro. Hope you had a good day. Shout outs to our pal Zahu. Again, thanks for your support, my friend. Let's fly with some freaking first Polish squadron kick ass. Of nearly 3,000 pilots who flew in the Battle of Britain, 20% were not British. Among these, by far the largest national group were the 147 Polish Air Force pilots, including one Slovak and one Czech, Franciszek, whose 17 victories made him one of the highest scoring pilots of the battle. Although amounting to only 5% of pilots engaged, and with most of them not deployed during the early stages of the battle, the Polish Air Force nonetheless accounted for 202 victories. 303 Squadron alone, with 126 victories in just six weeks at Northolt, outclassed every other squadron by a large margin. They made a critical difference in the hectic weeks of August and September, when the outcome of the battle, and of the war, was on a knife edge. While there were 70 pilots in the Polish 302 and 303 squadrons, there were a further 77 dispersed in RAF squadrons. Men like Głowacki in 501 squadron. On the 24th of August, in three sorties, he shot down five enemy aircraft, thus becoming an ace in a day, one of only six pilots to achieve this in the battle. Or like Skalski, shot down and burnt on the 5th of September, he absconded from hospital after five weeks and returned to 501 squadron. Because of the burns to his leg, he could not run when the squadron was scrambled. So while they were at readiness, he sat for hours in his cockpit. He became the highest scoring Polish pilot in the war. And after his return to Poland, was accused of treason by the communist government and sentenced to death, eventually commuted to many years in prison. Napanese squadron now at readiness. Understood. Guess where we're going? To Poland. We'll be flying and then maybe in tanks. So this is a test for a stream. So let's see if we can have some fun. And Sluggo, when I was putting the scene together, thanks for the follow. So we're going to Poland, flying with the first Polish Air Force, the first Polish squadron in 1945, um, attacking Berlin. So that's what campaign I have available, and I'm looking into a 39 campaign, Poland versus the Soviets and the Germans, and that will be really cool. So stay tuned for that, and if you guys are tuning in now or later, thanks for tuning in. And my friend Zahu, our friend Zahu, our gamer friend, our moderator on Twitch. This Polish flight's going out to you, buddy. Rock and roll. Thanks for your support on my channel. And thanks for be being an MS warrior. Rock and roll. Thank you, my friend. Poland, Poland's going to be bitching. I have drop foot today. This is your MS moment of the day. I have a drop foot today. That means my leg, my right leg, it's like a rubber band. I rarely have this, but a lot of people with multiple sclerosis report having drop foot. It's like my leg, my foot. It's like you're stepping in quicksand when, you, when you're trying to walk. I'm walking with my canes. I have walking sticks to get from like here to my wheelchair. And when I would walk, it's almost like you're stepping into a marshmallow. It's, it's not safe. So I'm chilling. <laughs> and we're flying. We're going to Poland. We're going to shoot down some Messerschmitt. It's going to be bitching. So awesome. Let's see where we are. We can get in here. MS message of the day. And as always, this is an MS Awareness and Stream to MS stream, guys. And if any of you are generous enough to donate, any little bit helps find a cure to fund research to find a cure to help this illness, which is deteriorating me and people, almost 3 million people like me. 
And for those of you that have donated, thank you for being my MS warriors from all of us with MS. Gracias, muchachos. This is going to be fun. And the radio broadcast tonight, I engineered myself. So I hope you guys enjoy the tunes. I don't speak Polish. My ex-girlfriend does. She lives in the Polish capital of America. Pierogi capital of America. So I don't know what they're singing, but boy, it sure sounds good, doesn't it? You guys be the judge. I put some nice radio static back there. Enjoy the tunes. So let's jump into our campaign, my friends. And I'm going to hope for some frame rate joy. Rock and roll. And here we are. Cool beans. Clear that out so we can see it on the screen. Right on. Good deal. Awesome, awesome. Let's fly. Let's go to Poland. So this dynamic campaign is a fighter campaign for Poland. Dynamic campaign for Poland. And the only option that we have is Berlin 45. So there's some other campaigns that I found online. And I've got them, but I have to install some other mods in order to fly those campaigns. So be patient. Place of birth, Tunsberg, Norway, 1890, which would make me... In 1945, would make me about the right age that I am if I was born in 1890. Rock and roll. So we're going to fly for the first Polish squadron. I like nine. I like 11. They're cool, but let's fly for the first, right? Right on. Let's do it. Yak, 1Bs, and I threw some Polish skins in there too without the Russian markings. So they should be really cool. The first Polish aviation units in the Soviet Union commenced training in 1943. And the first Sturmovek regiment was finally ready for combat in August of 1944. After liberating East Prussia, Pomorz and Gdansk, the Polish People's Army, fighting along with the Red Army, is ready for the final blow against Hitlerus, the assault on Berlin. In late February, several Red Army fronts, including the 1st Polish Army, will cross the Odra River in order to envelope Berlin and take it, preferably with all the German leadership in it. The role of the Polish People's Army Aviation and, and VVS will be close support for our troops as well as air cover, especially for the Odra bridges. This will be the last and most important battle of all. I hope it's a campaign and not just one mission. You're assigned to one Escadra, commanded by Major Yamashvili. It's March 14th, 1945. It's 11.15. I don't know if it's 11.15 at night or 11.15 in the morning because it's not military time. If it was military time, I would know if it's morning, noon, or night. Clouds at 1,300 meters. It's hazy. That's too bad. We're helping our comrades heading to Eisenhautenstadt with railroad attacked by partisans. Germans now heavily depend on supplies by transport columns. Keep bombers free from any Luftwaffe intervention. Distance to target, 56 kilometers. So we've got a flight ahead of us. Van Winkle. You guys know Van Winkle is a Polish name, right? Like Zahu. So where are we at? Where's our flight? That's where we're headed. This is where we're at. Over in Poland, we're taking Germany. We're going to Frankfurt. This is our flight, right? Berlin's not far away. We're almost there. So we'll see what... I've never done this. I've never seen this, and that's why I want to do Poland, because it's so interesting, and this history should be exposed and given some light, and we can use computer video games to exist in it and see what these guys saw. So here we are flying Yak-1Bs, right? Flight altitude 2,500 meters, 56 kilometers target. What exactly is with... Ah, we are helping our comrades with railroad attacked by partisans, Germans, not the of the key bomb. Keep the bombers free from Luftwaffe. So what's an escort? Rock and roll. Kick ass, you guys. <coughs> Rock and roll Poland. Yep, it's International Poland Flight Night. 
And again, this one goes out to our pal Zaho. Thanks for being a good moderator. Rock and roll, you guys. Check this out. I'm quite pleased with that paint job. I need to square up. Those need to come down centered on the wing more. And on the tail, they're a little too rectangular rather than square, so I'll fix that. This is the first look at the paint job. I didn't, I didn't preview it. I just hit record. I want to fly, fly, fly. We all want to fly. Right? Right, right. Bitching, let's go. It's a weird view, but I can do it. That is freaking bitch, and I'm digging it. I need to find a um, a better Polish campaign, though. This is vanilla. This is stock. This is not a community-made campaign. It's the only Polish campaign that there is, besides the Sturmovic campaign. So we'll give this a roll, bitching, bitching. I like this plane much better than the one that we were going to be flying, the vanilla ones. And again, this is a non-modded version of IL-246. Um, forgotten Battle Specific Fighters, the whole kit and caboodle. So I haven't modded nothing. I just threw some skins in. I modded a few skins, obviously. Cool. So, man, it's still a bitchin' looking game for something that's more than 10 years old. I haven't flown this in so long. Missed the planes. I took a break from planes for a long time, for 10 years, been playing Warband. So yeah, let's keep jamming, get some speed up. What are we doing, 330? Hush. Hush, yeah, Red Yacht 1. Did you hear him? He said, up yours. Try to stay alive. Flight leader's always bitching at me. I'm not fast enough. Oh, uh, disability inclusiveness and all that. I want to stay on these PE3s. Yeah, those squares need to be fixed on the wings. We'll do better next time. Enemy fighters way up ahead. We're headed for the line. Headed into Germany. And these bitchin' yaks. Look at these kick-ass airplanes. These are so awesome. Look at this. Bitchin'. See if we can be the first to engage. We'll be the first to get shot down, right? Man, the thing moves on a dime. I gotta have more finesse in my old age in MS. Shit, Falk Wolves, they are fast as hell. Look how fast they are. They blew by me, I didn't even get a freaking beat on them.
Oh yeah. That one's for you, Zahu. Rock and roll. Oh shit, two more. I'm your Huckleberry. I'm trying to get them to engage. Let's drop in on him. Look at him go down, boy. Rock and roll. That one's for Poland. Kick ass. I love it. Shit! Let's try to survive. Man, these freaking yaks are kick ass. They just keep climbing. Shit! up yours oh shit he's smoking right on oh he's going down right on yeah he's history boom who's next we're gonna I hope they, we should have them outnumbered. We should survive. I haven't had to hit the silk yet. Those Falk Wolves are no joke though, man. Those things haul ass. But they're so outnumbered at this point in the war. Would they throw five fighters at us? We got six. We kicked their ass, really. I, we may have been evenly matched. score any hits on him, but I'm going to try with this old reticule. I don't know. Those pilots, that's why they were aces, man. Shit. We had him. Right. 
What's that? Did we tag three of them? I think we did. Shit, man. We took them down. I think we took three down. Target on fire, direct hit. Looks like they were taking that bridge out. Now there's an air base. I'm trying to stay away from those ground flat guns, man. They kill me every time. The flat guns are freaking dangerous, as expected. Sticking with Red One, our flight leader. Down in our two o'clock. It's one of our bombers down there. Yeah, he's going down. He took some flak. That flak gun. Yeah, that bomber's not going to make it. He's going down. Van Winkle got three kills. You've done well. The motherland needs pilots like you. 
We lost seven planes in the mission. The enemy lost six. Damn, I didn't think we lost that many planes. There's five of us left. We must have lost. I know we lost two of those bombers. They went down from the flak. I see. BF 109 G10s. Shot down by player. They're insinuating something. So he shot down a Falk Wolf 190 F8. And our Yak 1s. Kick ass. Look at that. Three kills right there. Kick ass. Rock and roll. PE3, PE3, PE3. Yeah. These guys didn't make it home. So that was good. Good, good, good first mission in Poland. So is that it? Nope, we got another mission. Awesome. We've taken Kostrezin. Kostrezin. March 25th, 1945. We have to protect an important strategic area of Baksau from German attacks. Stay tuned for the next mission, my friends. I'm going to grab some chicken. I'll be back. Rock and roll. In the meantime, I'm going to see what I can learn about this Poland's participation and these engagements. See what I can share. Stay tuned. MS does suck. <laughs> MS mucks with your central nervous system. Almost everything about your body, your muscles, your organs, your ability to speak, your ability to understand, your ability to move. MS took everything from me, everything I thought was important, everything I valued. I used to jump in a trampoline and swim with the kids. MS has affected me being a mom because Despite MS, I will keep riding my bike. I will continue to be the strongest mom that I possibly can. I will still dance with my husband. I will continue to live the life that my daughter expects me to live. Multiple sclerosis may be a part of who you are, but it doesn't define you. I will never stop. I will never quit. I'm going to keep being me.